Hey guys, finger time again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and modify these existing ones, putting a roller on the back end. So what I've got to do on all of these, um, I've got to put a flat on this side to take the nut and I've also I've got one in the lathe at the moment actually. I'm just putting a fairly substantial chamfer around the end here because when this is in place there's only going to be uh, 332 projecting so I've got to get rid of the edges so there's no fouling so a lot of that is fiddle but probably the hardest bit at the moment is making the uh, flat on the other side a good 180 and then equally when we drill uh, making sure that's uh, nice and true I've just put a chamfer on this uh, first one and the nut is on there to uh, make sure I can clean the threads after chamfering inside the chuck which may probably be visible I've got a soft aluminum collar to uh, protect the threads and uh, that nut is one of the old nuts in fact if I come over here I've actually obtained some uh, jam nuts which somebody else suggested a while ago so I'm going to use those, it'll give me a little bit more uh, adjustment space Alright, well one of the problems here was uh, to be able to put a flat on this end um, at 180 to the other existing flat, so what we've done which is a quick fix really, and this isn't super critical either in terms of uh, tolerances, but I've got a couple of 7 8 parallels under here and that gives this a nice base to rest on and then I've got two thin aluminum strips for uh, for padding, taking up the difference as well and hopefully where good to go on that so we're going to take a try and just go through in one cup we're going to take uh, 70 thou down which is t over twice what the other side is and we're going to go to 650 and I might even increase the flat on the other side I don't know I think it'll probably work out all right it's something I can do later if necessary will probably suffice. It's uh, looking all right. So it's just a case now of doing the other, doing the other three. Four times everything, all the way through. <laughs> and the second one. Okay, that's those four done. Now I'm just going to point out here the uh, 
at the way that moves when the floor moves. <laughs> um, there's a back nut and the 650 cut that I've made is so that the what we have here is the point of the hex is just close to level with the front and there's clearance behind for the rear of the uh, hex. So now we're going to mark those up and uh, set up for some drilling. Well guys, spot the deliberate mistake I screwed up. Somehow I didn't set this up properly on my uh, parallels. Oh dear. Oh well, it was a nice idea. <laughs> so anyway, these are still functional uh, fingers. So I'm going to make some new ones and probably avoid the uh, side offset by, uh, I'll probably do a similar milling operation and we'll fix a piece of plate or bar I should say to extend and then put the uh, cam roller in along the axis of the uh, finger. So quite a lot of work to do threading and one thing and another so we'll get round to that at some point and try not to screw up. Good, isn't it? <laughs> Silly old man. Oh well, that's the end of that uh, particular effort. Thanks for watching.